So there's this really weird thing that I'm realizing with YouTube and its algorithm. And no, this is not your cookie cutter YouTuber complaining about how they don't get enough views or enough subscribers or, you know, not recommended enough on the YouTube platform. No, I'm just some guy who has been thankful in the past for, you know, what YouTube has done for me in my life and things like that. But I'm realizing a trend that is going in such a negative slash corporate direction with this entire company that I just have to make a video on it. So before we get into it, drop a like. If you don't want to drop a like, maybe I haven't earned it yet. If I prove a point here, you got to hit that like button. We shook hands through this virtual screen. If you are new to the channel, of course, hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. So I think to lay a quick little foundation on this whole topic is necessary because some people don't know how, you know, making money on YouTube works. About five or six years ago now, you were able to just go on YouTube, make a YouTube channel, and even if you had five subscribers on the platform, you could theoretically get like 100,000 views on a video and get paid for it. As time has gone on, people have realized this isn't the best way for YouTube to basically be represented because God forbid some atrocious video goes on the platform and gets a ton of views before getting taken down. Technically, the person that has five subscribers and maybe is promoting a heinous or horrendous content could still make money on the platform. And that was like the whole focal point with the YouTube partner program where you need to have at least 1000 subscribers and this is at the time you know July 2022 so it might change as you know years go on right but you need to have a thousand subscribers and you need to have a total of 4000 watch hours before you even make a single penny on the platform now this is important because it's going to basically prove that YouTube is uh, you know, becoming more greedy as time goes on. The other part of this foundation is that YouTube in of itself is trying to get more short form videos on the platform. And this is clearly to compete with TikTok, where if you have a video that's less than a minute long, YouTube you know, has YouTube shorts now and you can upload YouTube shorts and get like a million views on a video. The key thing here that I need you guys to realize is that both of these things actually lead to larger, you know, profits for YouTube, a larger bottom line for YouTube. And I am not, you know, saying, you know, YouTube making money is a bad thing. Of course, they're a corporation. They're going to make money, right? They That's their whole goal to increase their profits year over year. But this is the scummy thing about this new algorithm that they have implemented and essentially like what they're trying to do overall hurts new creators or creators that are kind of in a limbo where they don't know if it's really worth to continue to upload on the platform. Now I just enjoy making videos so it isn't a problem for me but for those of you know people that maybe don't have enough time in the day to really devote uh, you know an, an upload every single day or you know maybe they just simply are squeezing like an hour in desperately trying to you know make some money on this platform those are the people that are really getting screwed here so going back to the YouTube partner program you need to have a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours and on the other end, you know, short form videos are becoming the dominant player on the platform. So something that I did realize, and I've been, you know, watching YouTube every single day for probably like four or five years now, is that when I watch a video, you know, maybe it's like a seven, eight minute long video, cause you know, I have a longer attention span that is totally the opposite of some of the other people that are growing up in this generation that have less than the attention span of a goldfish and that's actually scientifically proven i can watch like a seven to eight minute video but as soon as i'm done my recommendations are all essentially short form videos and i don't really necessarily watch short form videos i myself uh, i believe i watch longer term videos majority uh, over the short term so i'm still getting you know short term video recommendations but I, I just have to show you this pure example. This literally happened right before I made this video because I just needed a screenshot, which also proves that YouTube is doing this 
more frequently than they've ever done before if I'm able to just simply grab a screenshot, no problem of this example. Uh, I get some random Spider-Man video, right? And I'm just gonna block out the title because it's actually not that appropriate. But this specific YouTuber, right, that uploaded this video, uh, you know, it's got like a crazy amount of views for the subscribers that he has. I think it's got like 238,000 views um, and he has 161 subscribers. Now, not every single short form video gets ads, but I did receive an ad for this video. It technically could be considered a YouTube short now, but the focal point here and the main thing I'm trying to get across to you guys is that this video got 238,000 views, right? The YouTuber only has 161 subscribers, meaning that this YouTuber is technically working for free for YouTube until they can get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, meaning YouTube is reaping 100% of the profits on this video, meaning you know that this happens at an exponentially high level. There's not just this person making short form videos, getting no credit for it because YouTube is just trying to push these videos with, you know, 30 seconds worth of content. YouTube is also getting 100% of the profits on any YouTuber that makes short form videos like this with less than a thousand subscribers. Not only that, but it also screws over all of the other YouTubers that are trying to make content that's longer than 30 seconds to a minute long. Think about all the YouTubers that you're subscribed to, that you have subscribed to in the past, that made videos that were like seven to 15 minutes long, that actually had a lot of great content within it. Well, all those YouTubers now are getting screwed out of the algorithm because short form videos are also getting pushed. So it's like a double-edged sword in a way. This happens every single day at such a high level that YouTube's probably making millions of dollars just off of short form videos, maybe even per day, right? That's what's mind blowing to me. And that's really just discouraging for a lot of people that do make content like this on the platform. But the other crazy thing here is that even YouTube shorts, if this video was a YouTube short, there are ads when you scroll through YouTube Shorts. It doesn't happen, let's say, as frequent as a longer term video, but every like three or four, or maybe even five shorts, I can technically get a YouTube ad. And when you multiply that by such a high level, the YouTube content creators on a CPM basis, this just means uh, how many times someone's watched your video a thousand times, like how much money you're gonna get for every thousand views that you get. Um, the, the CPM there is like close to nothing. It's like cents. Meanwhile, YouTube's reaping the benefits of, you know, getting basically majority of the profit when it comes to, let's say, a, a company like Nissan or Mercedes throwing a car commercial ad in between some YouTube shorts. And the fact that there are more short form videos being recommended by these YouTubers that have less than a thousand subscribers is just a blatant and obvious algorithm that YouTube has in place to make sure that they can get more profit and give less to the YouTuber, maybe even nothing to the YouTuber in this case scenario of the screenshot that I've shared. So I just found this pretty interesting and you know, if this happens, if this continues to be a trend, there's gonna be less YouTubers on the platform. There's gonna be less people making content and overall it's gonna cannibalize the entire platform. This company literally only survives based off of people taking the time out of their day to make videos and content on the platform. If you're taking advantage and pushing videos in people's recommended of YouTubers that can't even make money on the platform, that screws out the YouTuber that maybe made a seven to eight minute long video that wants their video recommended, but instead YouTube is recommending the people that don't even make any money to begin with, meaning YouTube's getting 100% of the profit. So again, really discouraging stuff. So I wanna hear your comments down below. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, comment down below what you think about this situation, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Cryptix, not making a YouTube shorts out of this, or maybe I will to, you know, really see if YouTube's actually going to pay me anything more than a dollar and signing off.